I think what we have to do is get the parties out of where they are right now because the Democrats don't want to come off 10-10 because they think it'll, you know, fire up their base and they don't want to look like they're compromising and Republicans don't want to yield either. But you know what? What does that do for workers? They stick at 725? It hasn't changed since 2007. Let's compromise and move on and then let's index it. I think we should index it. Go please, please. Let me say this. If I was this bad, if I was this bad on this issue, why would the building construction trades unions? And why would the teachers? Please, please. This is, this is really, I think, an operative question for this debate, is who has the temperament to bring people together to get things done? One minute rebuttal. One minute rebuttal, Mr. Eldridge. So let's talk about compromise. What has Republican compromise given us? A government shutdown, which Congressman Gibson voted for. <laughs> Nearly defaulting on our national debt. It gave us the least productive Congress in the history of our country. Look, I believe in compromise. But you know what? People who believe in raising the minimum wage need to vote. People who believe in doing something about climate change need to vote. We need to make sure that our voices are heard in the halls of Congress. And if and when we fix our campaign finance system, we will elevate the voices of voters. We will pass uh, uh, an increase in the minimum wage. We can get those things done. But we've got to get this corporate PAC money out of our politics. And because I'm not taking a penny of corporate PAC contributions, I will be independent. I will stand up to them and we can get it done. But I think if you look at the record of Republican compromise, I think nearly defaulting on our debt and shutting down our government because they didn't agree with him on one issue, the issue of health care, that's wrong. That's not compromise I can believe in. I think we've got to do better than that. So one minute of my voting record was the same as Sean Patrick Maloney. Are you going to call him a Tea Party Republican? Look, the fact of the matter is, is that was very reasonable. And, Could you and please? I, you know, what's, what's very disturbing is that uh, Mr. Eldridge here said that he would vote against the last bill that was moving in Congress 36 hours before the debt ceiling in 2011. Look, I, I, I'm just saying that that would be so cataclysmic to our economy. 